Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I did get your overall energy here, okay? And it's, uh, honestly, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm seeing someone from your past, um, um, most likely a masculine energy, okay? Coming back in for their Ten of Cups, all right? I feel like the Divine is telling them it's time. It's time to balance these scales. It's time to bring in justice, right? I feel like this person has been, uh, they've been divinely led by the higher font. They've been, um, they've gone under judgment, right? And now I feel it's time, it's time for justice here. And they know it. And, I, you know, honestly, this is the best I have felt about a, a, a divine masculine in a long time. This, this may not be a divine masculine, but their energy is really upbeat, I have to say. And I haven't, I haven't felt that off of a masculine here um, in Tarot Land for a while now. This person, I feel like they're getting encouraged um, by other people around them to come towards you and balance these scales once and for all. I feel like they're being told they need to make it right. They know what they have to do. They know what they've done. And it's time for them to come forward here. I feel like they've made a decision. They know who it is that they want and they want you. You're their wish fulfillment collective. You're this person's Ten of Cups. Definitely somebody from your past who can't stop thinking about you. Um, you may even have children with this person, um, but this is a, this can be a very deep level soulmate connection, past life soulmate connection, okay? Yeah, look, they've chosen their path on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person was with um, a toxic partner, okay? That's that clingy one right here that they've turned their back on. Now they're focused in a new direction, but I feel like they're thinking, they're standing here thinking about the person from their past. So yeah, this person is about to come towards you here. Um, I've got um, Libra energy, Capricorn. But I feel like... Um, They've learned their lesson here. Uh, the karmic taught them a big lesson, okay? I feel like it was really hard to break free from this karmic. This person may even have um, this energy still around them, okay? They, they may have to do some cleansing because I'm noticing this bracket here and this karmic was really clinging on. But I really do feel like this person has broken away. Um, but it's taken them a long time to come forward. This is somebody that um, you're, you've been in separation from for two to three years, maybe, to anywhere from two to six years. And I feel like they know you may not feel the same way about them anymore. Yeah, it's the end to a cycle, and it's time. Look, what did I say? Um, I feel like they've been... They've been um, led and taught a lesson by the higher font. I feel like they've gone through their judgment, and now it's time to bring in this justice. It's just time for for this to transform. Otherwise, it's going to end. If this person doesn't come forward, it'll end. But I feel like in this case, death is transformation. This could also be telling me that... Um, a cycle is closing on this toxic situation. It could have been a marriage, but now there's a divorce. Okay, so either way, uh, this person's getting out of something so that they can come and apologize to you, collective. This is too many cards, but look, wish fulfillment on the bottom of the deck. Their happiness here. I feel like, honestly, I feel like this is... Um, the karmic's energy, who, whoever they were with in a toxic situation, I feel like they um, they know that this person is coming towards you. But yeah, I feel like you're what they want here, okay? You are definitely what they want. So yeah, get ready because this person's about to apologize. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and this person betrayed you, and I feel like you've been wanting the truth from them. Or you could be 
um, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio out here. Maybe um, I've got Pisces heavy. I've got Aquarius here, Leo. But yeah, you're in the public eye as the star and an empress. All right, I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like whoever they were with in a toxic situation, they know your person is about to come and apologize to you. And I get the feeling like she's expecting it. She's watching for this. She feel, Whoever this Queen of Swords is feels very betrayed. But I feel like this person's coming towards you. You're the Empress. You're the Star. You're their Ten of Cups. You're the one that, look, this is ultimate wish fulfillment. You're the one that they want to be with. You're about to get a whole lot of communication coming in really fast. I mean, this this masculine, I got to say, <laughs> you know what scene they're showing me? They're showing me a scene from the movie Ghostbusters where they buy, um, or they, was it buy, did they buy it or rent it? It's that old building, you know, um, it was like a, fire station, wasn't it? Um, because it's got that pole, and I'm just seeing Dan Aykroyd, uh, I think it's Dan Aykroyd, all kinds of excited about the pole, okay? <laughs> so that's kind of what this is, and look, and there it is. There's that fireman pole, and I mean, they're just, he's very enthusiastic, um, he's raring to go. He's excited, okay? This is a masculine who's excited, about finally being able to break free from this karmic situation and come forward and give you the apology that it's taken too long to give you. Um, they can't stop thinking about you. They can't get you off of their mind. Um, and all they want, it, it's all they want is this, which is everything. <laughs> That's it. That's all they want. They just want ultimate wish fulfillment and the kind of life everybody dreams of having, okay? They want a commitment. They want to build something solid with you. They want um, emotional fulfillment in their life. I feel like it's been a long time in a karmic situation dealing with somebody who's potentially very cold. It's been a long time that this person's been without love. And I feel like when they think about you, that's all they feel. Okay? And they want that feeling back. They want love in their life now. All right. So yeah, this person is definitely excited. <laughs> I'm just, they're like clicking their heels collective. They're super excited about coming in and finally seeing you again. Um, I feel like they're hoping for the best, you know, and this is somebody who may even have to travel. Both of these are travel cards. So this could be somebody who may live a distance from you. And it can be any distance. Distance. They could even be thinking about um, maybe moving, right? Moving to a, a different location, somewhere close to you, okay? They really miss you, Collective. Um, you know, with the first card out as the Six of Cups, this person's all up in the memories about you and remembering how you maybe laughed together, how you were playful with each other. They remember those little things about you that they find adorable, and they just, they miss you, you know? This person can't stop thinking about you. They miss you. So, yeah, they want to come forward, and I, I really get the sense that this person's going to come and see you face-to-face because -face, they are really excited, okay? I'm just feeling this excitement. Um... I feel like this person has been watching you, okay? Maybe they've been working on their pentacles here. This is somebody who's putting in the work into something. Maybe it's a, it's a plan. Um, they've been losing sleep about you. I feel like this is what they've been doing while they've been with a toxic partner, is watching you and falling apart because they've been watching you turn and grow into this empress, okay? Very abundant. You know, it's almost like it's almost like they're saying, do you know how hard it was for me to stay away? Do you know how hard it was for me to stay away? I think about you constantly. All right. I know I've been standing in the middle of this decision that I've had to make. 
I felt stuck with a toxic partner. Do you know how hard it was for me to stay away when all I all I've been able to do is watch you, you know? That's that's pretty much what they're saying here. Yeah, so here they come. <laughs> I cannot make it up, you guys. Here they come with this love offer. Sorry about that collective. Just uh technical issues right anyway um yeah this person's about to take action you know the the king of wands and there's that enthusiasm all right <laughs> this is what i was talking about this guy here um number one i see him as being the best communicator in the deck now i'm probably the only reader out here who does this traditionally people will say it's the king of swords no no it's not this person can basically get anybody to believe anything, okay? They're a lot of fun. People genuinely like to be around this person. They genuinely like to listen to this person. They're a great storyteller, okay? But the, it's because of their energy. This is probably the funnest, most enthusiastic, excitable kings in the deck okay so this person they're kind of feeling jumpy here they're feeling jumpy they've been watching you and falling apart and learning the lessons of all the things that they did to you okay they've been learning all of that for a really long time now breaking free from this toxic situation they finally have an opportunity to come in and tell you how they feel okay they finally and i feel like there's people behind them here that are kind of helping them they're like go do it man <laughs> right <laughs> get on that horse and go to the collective right and it's making this person like kind of hop around i i just feel like they're very um they've got a lot of energy okay they're kind of like it's a, it's a lot of anxiety, but this anxiety is a good kind of anxiety, okay? This is excitement. This is like, oh, I'm nervous, but I'm going to do this, you know? It's one of those things. And, um, yeah, you could be dealing with a, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, definitely. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is out here, too. And I feel like... Um, yeah, that's that excitement, okay? That's that passion. They want to take action. They want to come forward. <laughs> I haven't seen a masculine this excited in a really long time. I got to say, I got to say, in a reading, I mean, you know. <laughs> in a reading. All right, anyway, yeah. Um, I feel like you are, right now, you're moving forward, okay? At, but so are they. I kind of get the sense that you guys are mirroring each other here. You're enthusiastic for new beginnings. You're leaving something behind. And you're starting a new cycle, okay? A new time in your life that's going to be abundant and lots of opportunities. I mean, you're already wish fulfillment, okay? So I don't think you're going to have a problem in the new cycle, all right? But they're mirroring you as well. They're also leaving something behind, okay? Um, moving forward. This is forward movement. And they're enthusiastic about a new beginning with you. So you're both mirroring and I feel like this person is right behind you you've learned your lessons and passed your tests and believe me this karmic whoever they were with has taught them a lot of lessons too this is somebody who's been through a battle somebody who um, is coming out of that battle having a victory in their life okay they feel good collective this masculine they've got a bounce in their step they're kind of whistling you know what i mean um so far it looks really good and um yeah what is this yeah look and this is coming out in reverse i feel like they just don't want to have any more regrets okay they want to fix um what they did wrong in the past at least if you'll allow it right um they're extremely like I, they have a lot of remorse and they're regretful for what they did to you in the past 
but them making this move forward to you, it feels like the right thing for them to do. It feels right. And I don't think they have felt that feeling in a long dang time. Okay, because they've been in the wrong situation possibly for years. This, their decision to come towards you, the decision to come towards their wish fulfillment and give you all this communication, this is what feels right. And they, like I said, they haven't felt that in a very long time. And then here they come. I'm telling you, collective, you're about to, this person's coming in and they're coming in strong and they're coming in happy and enthusiastic and ready. Man, they're ready. They're single. Um, they're breaking free or getting a divorce from whoever they've been with. They know exactly what they want, and there's people in their circle that are encouraging, encouraging them forward to you, okay? So, yeah, get ready because this person really, truly is about to reach out. Um, very passionate, very excited, um, kind of jittery here. Yeah, I, you know what, though? This is coming out in reverse, the victory card. Um, they're a bit afraid, maybe. Um, clarify this. I feel like they're afraid. Maybe once they re see, they come in all excited, then they see you, and then something kind of goes, brrr. <laughs> like, they get, they get nervous. They get scared. Um... All right, clarify this. Thank you. Oh, man. Uh, and then they start praying. Please, please just let this go well. This is that moment of truth, I feel. Okay? They kind of lose their confidence. The nerves take over. The awkwardness takes over. And they're like, <gasps> you know, it kind of takes their breath away a little bit. All right? So, yeah, then they start praying, oh, man, please, 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 please make this go well. Let, let me just um, help heal this because they remember how they broke your heart. And then they can start thinking, if I can only heal this, I know I've got a lot of healing to do with this person. You know what I mean? I know what I've done. They start thinking about the things that they did to you and they start getting nervous and worried. And maybe afraid because they're finally seeing you face to face. This is somebody who's shaking in the knees here to the point where they may have to sit down. Okay, for real. You've got this person shaking, shaking at the knees. And I was shaking at the knees. I'm hearing that. It's ACDC. I'm trying to. Thunderstruck. I think it's thunderstruck. Yeah, I think this person's been love struck is what it is. But um, yeah, you've been thunderstruck. Um, yeah, they're shaking at the knees. You've got this person shaking at the knees when they, as soon as they see your face. I think it's as soon as you open the door or, you know, as soon as they, as soon as they look at you, they start shaking. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's the truth. Yes. <laughs> yes, because it's taken them too long to come forward. Um, they had you in a third party situation and they kept their back turned um, for so long, in fact, that you may not feel the same way about them anymore. That's what they're worried about is that you may not feel, do you even feel the same way? The intensity of this connection. You guys are so mirroring each other here. Okay? Um, yeah. They're going to want to get you to calmer waters. But this person is feeling those burdens because I feel like they put you in a third party. They broke your heart. This person, in the past, they were very noncommittal. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Gemini. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here, Virgo energy. It's taken them way too long to come in. They've been thunderstruck. This is what they start thinking about. They're <laughs> oh, gosh. 
This, uh, you know, honestly, they, they're very confident here when, especially with people encouraging them, encouraging them, they're like, okay, I'm going to go for it, right? They're confident and excited here. As soon as they see you, man, as soon as they look at your face collective, they get thunderstruck. Seriously, they get so nervous because they remember how they treated you and they're praying that whatever they say is going to change this around, okay? Like, there's a lot that this person did to you, man. And they're really hoping that they can heal this and you guys can get past it. Because they really want this with you, okay? They really want it with you. <laughs> um, yeah. I feel like you're going to see a change in this person. All right, so what's going to happen here? Yeah, and there's that tower. There's those nerves, that kick in the gut that feels like they're, they're going over a roller coaster. They've been thunderstruck. Um, shaking at the knees, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, but here they come. They're going to make this offer to you, Collective. I cannot make it up. Look. This person's going to be like, can you please forgive me? Can you ever forgive me? You know, they may even bring you a little gift. Um, but they're, they're definitely coming to see if they can have another chance with you. They're going to be sending you, expect a lot of communication from this person. Okay? And I, I absolutely love how they start off very confident, gung-ho about it, you know? <laughs> And then they see you and they fall apart. For real, they see you and their knees just buckle. Okay, they may even have to sit down. They may need to take a moment and breathe before they step up to your door. That's how freaked out this person is. Because they know they've got a lot of explaining to do. And they're really hoping that you, you guys can get past this together. Okay? So it's probably, this is probably going to be um, the most nerve-wracking communication of this person's entire life. All right? Is facing you. Okay? Facing you is going to make their knees buckle. I should just name it that because that's what this is. They'll, they're going to be shaking in their knees. Um, I was shaking at the knees. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I bury myself in work to forget you. I want to hold you again. I need to feel your body next to mine. I just want to see what they wanted to say to you, okay? This person misses you, collective. I, I, I keep getting that they miss the touch of your, you know, like the feel of your skin, right? Um, you don't know how hard it was to let go. Didn't I get that in the reading? You don't know. You don't know how hard it's been for me. Yeah. You don't know how hard it's been for me not to, not to contact you or to stay away. I know I crossed that line with you. Everywhere I go, I look around as if you'll magically be there. No one ever loved me again the way you did. I never appreciated you until you were gone. I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. That's this. That's this, you guys. Okay. Um, I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustration on you. Yeah. I feel like you're about to get a whole lot of communication um, in person from somebody who's just going to be shaken at the knees. You guys, I kid you not. Oh, boy. <laughs> they are going to have to sit down. They're going to have to sit down. 